Welcome. Thank you, everyone, for being here today. Um, I'm Jennifer Dunn, Head of Public Affairs Communications at Wells Fargo. We're super excited to be here this year. We've, this is the third year we've sponsored this event. Um, every year I learn something, and I'm hoping today through our session together uh, we can help you learn something as well. So I'm here with Megan Brown. Um, as uh, the voiceover noted, is the head of Chief Development Officer of um, United Way here in New York City. Um, and uh, United Way and Wells Fargo have a very long partnership together. We have been partnering in some form or fashion since 1880, so 140 years yeah. of partnership. That's my longest relationship ever, <laughs> for sure, 100%. <laughs> Well, I'll jump in for a minute. We are so delighted and proud of the partnership that we have with Wells Fargo, both globally and here in New York, um, that has just meant a world to our community. Uh, wherever we are, uh, we know that we have an amazing relationship with Wells Fargo. And our job at United Way really is to be that connector uh, between the corporate community back to uh, you know our local communities having true sustainable impact and making sure that we do that uh, in the best ways that we can and um, in the most innovative ways. So we're really, really lucky. So uh, we want to talk a little bit today about purpose in action. So how organizations can partner with the United Way um, and others, thank you. I thank you, this is much more comfortable. Um, how organizations can partner with the United Way and others um, to really take advantage of employees who want to be involved, um, employees who are looking for more of a sense of purpose um, in their work and what they do. And uh, the Edelman Trust Barometer recently found that two-thirds of employees are looking for more of a purpose at work, and in fact, they will base their job choices um, mm -hmm. on organizations that they feel help them serve a purpose. Um, so Megan, from your chair, um, can you tell us a little bit about what you're seeing in terms of trends um, and employee engagement and volunteerism? Absolutely, we're really excited about the future um, and we're really excited that we sit in a place to really uh, be able to leverage what uh, the good that is in this room as one example. Um, you know, what we're seeing is that overall, the number of people who give annually has gone down a little bit, but the amount that is being given has increased significantly. Uh, $410 billion last year were given to charitable causes. Um, it's an incredible testament to what our community can do. Uh, but what we also know from where United Way sits and our uh, you know, 100 plus years of really being a, uh, a social responsibility por partner to our corporate partners is that employees want their companies to care about the community. Employees want to work somewhere. You all know this. This is why we're here. They want to work somewhere where they know that that is a pure focus. It is up there with the profit. And that you have an execution partner in United Way to help you do that is really where we feel and can see that, uh, that companies are having real traction when it comes to employee engagement. And employees don't want to just engage one time a year. Um, we see incredible days of volunteering that are the capstone to a year-round uh, you know, engagement where people are volunteering throughout the year, being engaged in their, uh, their communities, wherever they might be, in ways that really feel that they can understand what the impact is. And uh, Wells Fargo is a wonderful example of where we've recently done and rethought about an innovative day of giving to truly be that capstone. But where employees, and what we're really hearing is that employees want to feel it every day in everything they do, they want it to be part of their messaging. And we really need to be that kind of partner to our, corp to our corporations to be able to do that efficiently and effectively. Yeah. Well, and we really have a very vocal, uh, what we call team member population. We have 260 people around, 260,000 people around the world. Uh, they are not shy. Uh, <laughs> they tell us what they want, um, and even when we don't ask them. Um, but we took the opportunity to ask them a couple years ago when we recognized that we we have very, very passionate um, team members in terms of their, and very generous team members in terms of the amount that they're willing to give. Um, but they really wanted more. Mm -hmm. um, they wanted to be recognized for their time for their board service um, and for their engagement across the board in general with organizations. So we worked with the United Way and we revamped our team member um, giving program. Uh, so essentially we launched what we call the Community Care Grants Program where team members have their 
um, donations matched, but they also have their volunteer time matched. Uh, team members at Wells Fargo get two days of um, paid holiday a year to go volunteer. Um, so we award them and we award the organizations of their choosing for their service um, as well as their donations. And that's been a really popular program. In fact, we, we, had, we saw that um, our previous program was being used by actually a very small percentage of the team member population. Um, and we really wondered why and we wanted to make sure people were more engaged. And there were some very unhappy people, frankly, um, who were giving a lot of money to a very small number of educational institutions. Um, but we decided that it was more important for us to really reconsider mm -hmm. how we could engage our team member population overall and harness that passion and help them feel more engaged in what we were doing as a company. Um, and so when, you all, when you're working with organizations like Wells Fargo and probably many of the companies in this room, how, how important is it for you in your success as a company? I think you did a 160 events mm -hmm. just in New York City last mm -hmm. year at the United Way. Um, so how important is it for you all to have partners in companies like Wells Fargo and other organizations? So this is the core of what we do. And it is about bringing together um, our corporate partners where there really is community need. Um, it is United Way's responsibility in every community that we're in to understand truly what is happening in that community and be able to respond to it effectively, help you respond to it effectively. Um, it is our job to do that efficiently for you. And you know, so many of the things that we see are companies, people within companies, really wanting to make sure that they have an outlet to do that. Um, one of the things that United Way has put at the core of our business value going forward, and we have done this on both a, Nash, both a global and a local perspective, is really about purpose. We have a product called Shared Purpose. It's about going into our corporate partners and being a business advisor to you. What are your companies saying that your, what are your employees saying that they want in their company? How do we help survey that? Here in New York, we work with Wells Fargo, McKinsey, many other companies who are in the room today to really be able to understand both what your employees want and what the company needs to be effective and how you marry that with where there really is need in the community. How you are responding effectively to where there is need. Um, and you know, having 160 volunteer projects a year, um, you know, many of which we've done with folks around this room, uh, just in New York City, that's great. But there's so much more that we can do together. And when we think about um, each nonprofit that those volunteer projects help serve, each family, each face that's behind that, um, we know we have a lot more work to do um, and that we're on the road to do that with really incredible partnerships. And it all starts with listening. It starts with listening to Wells Fargo when we sit down together and say, what do you want to accomplish this year? How do you want your employee engagement to look and feel? Let's do that in partnership with United Way. Let's Let's measure it, let's make sure we're being effective, and then let's do it again next year and have even more impact. Yeah. Well, I think it's really, that's very much, it's very consistent with what we heard earlier from the folks at Talbot's Address for Success, Absolutely. that, you know, Wells Fargo gives away 400, we will, give, we will have uh, given away $444 million um, in 2018. We're the country's largest corporate cash donor, which many people don't know. So. <laughs> FYI, um, but you. we are executing um, on delivering that value and having that impact in large part through partners like the United Way. You know, we can't be experts in volunteerism and how to implement a great volunteer policy. We can do what we think we can. We want to listen to our team members, but it really does take partnership with organizations, especially when you have, uh, we had I think about 100,000 team members last year give 2 million hours. Um, in terms of their time. So in order to be as successful as we can be and have the impact we want, it really pays to take advantage of a partnership like this. Um, and we heard that earlier with Talbots um, and Dress for Success as well. Absolutely. Um, so our time is up, actually. We are 22 seconds away. <laughs> um, so I just want to say thank you, Megan, for your time. Thank you all for having us. And we hope you learned a little bit from the session today. Thank you.